Hi YouTube, and this is JTrain997, and I'm back this time with my review of the Iron Man 2 comic series, and might I add my personal favorite Iron Man villain, Titanium Man. Of course, this is from the um, newer line of Iron Mans that are Iron Man 2 figures that are sort of roughly hitting in some areas now. I actually ordered this bad boy offline. But um, let's get a look at him in the packaging here. Of course, you can see Titanium Man over here. Of course, there's a sticker that isn't usually there. It says, save $5 on your next Iron Man toy coupon inside, valid through February of 2011. Of course, um, Titanium Man comes with like a little energy trail for his fist. Um, these little clip-ons are usually a hit and a miss for me. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I hate them. I've got to say, something like this seems to be emulating a comic cover, and I really like that. Of course, he comes with his armor cards as well over here. Of course, over here, the number 31, Avengers Assemble. And on the back here, his little read-up says, As a loyal KGB agent, Boris Bulski was more than happy to undergo the experiments that increased the size and strength that increased his size and strength, and wear, and wear the massive armor that turned him into the Titanium Man. He was assigned to embarrass the United States by defeating Iron Man in open combat, but the armored hero's fighting skills and superior technology defeated the massive Russian armor. Of course, get a good look at him on the back there. You can see the blast, snap on flame blast. Over there, the classic Iron Man with his pointed mask, then Guardsman, and the oversized red and yellow armor. So, panning back out. So, um, yeah, I've really been looking forward to this guy being my um, personal favorite Iron Man villain. That being said, let's pull this bad boy out of the packaging. And here we have Titanium Man out of the packaging. Of course, he has his energy trail attached. Let's get a quick 360 of him. Of course, a very nice um, presentation on this guy. Like I said, I don't like the blast so much that just go off in some random direction. But when you get something like this, I know it just really looks cool to me. But um, that being said, let's actually pop him back on the base for a half second. Get him standing, and we'll look at the detail on Titanium Man. Of course, a very nice level of paint. I really love the shade of green they used on him. Of course, you can see the energy trail there. It does seem there's some minor... Oops, out of focus. Some very minor paint error right there on the arm. You can see some of the green kind of splashed onto the silver. But I mean, it's a tiny, tiny error course panning back out titanium man even has his boots detailed so overall just a fantastic job of course his um little energy trail is meant to go on his closed fist not his open hand so um looks fine on and off it fits on snugly his articulation he does a full 360 at the head appears there's some more slight green running over to the silver there around the base of his neck like I said, all this is very minor, just, I think it does bear mentioning. Of course. Well, he looks like he'll do a full 360. His shoulder pads are going to be a bit of a hindrance. Arms go out to about here. Go forward and back. Although, once again, shoulder pads are creating a bit of an issue. Bends at the elbow. Spins at the wrist. Of course, rotates. Same for both arms. Let's get this back down. Main torso. Of course. Legs go out. Don't appear to... They don't really seem like they want to go forward or back, just out. Hmm. Oh, well. Double jointed at the knee. Also, yeah, they don't spin there. Uh, and ankle joint. As you can see. So, a very nice level of articulation for Titanium Man. Oops. Let's get him posed here really quick. And we'll go on to his base. Of course, it's the standard base. I actually do kind of like these. They don't take up a whole lot of space. You can fit the cards in them. Um, the one gripe I have is that I wish they'd print the name across them. Of course, his armor cards. Once again, these seem pretty pointless. Um, unlike some armor cards, his blast is actually kind of attached onto the arm of the card. It's I mean the it's attached on the picture of the it's attached on the arm on the picture, which is strange to me. The other um, characters in the wave don't come with the blast pictured on their card. So 
side. Oh well. So let's get that back on there. Let's get Titanium Man back on his base really quick. So um, a great level of articulation, a little hindered in some places, but you know, small gripes. And of course the um, a very small level of um paint error, which I am more than willing to accept. Let's get this back on here. So yeah, this line is running you roughly about a little more than six bucks, I believe, at most stores. This line hasn't really started hitting in a whole lot of places, but um, it's going to be a fantastic line. I haven't got any of the rest, but Hulkbusters in this web, of course. And the little $5 coupon offer that comes with this little folded up wad of paper. And it's um, save $5 on your next purchase of $20 or more of the Iron Man figures. So maybe I'll just keep that in my wallet until I find the rest of the wave in stores. But um, one more thing I want to do really quick. Reach over and pull him off my shelf here. Let's get a comparison to him and Crimson Dynamo. Of course, in the comics, Crimson Dynamo was always teaming up with Titanium Man. And I definitely, th definitely think they complement each other nicely. I mean, I'm really digging the Iron Man 2 line. Titanium Man is no exception. Definitely a great figure. And this is J-Train997 saying I'll see you soon, YouTube.